Hello MacWarriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of MacWarrior 5 Mercenaries Legend of the Castral Lancers. Guys, uh, we've already read the mission description last time and now it is finally time to get into the next one. We have some scattered parts of the Fusiliers that we need to, uh, you know, rescue from some stuff. And I would say we're gonna do it right away because we have nothing else to do here other than deploying our force. And that's the plan for today. However... I want to quickly check, do we want the Stalker? Can we even bring it? I doubt it, right? Yeah, the work will not be complete. We have... Does it say somewhere? Mission starts in 44 days. All right, so that's it. 44, I think we can get all of these guys in. Seems good. That is exactly 44 days. This is just ridiculous. Let's get into it, guys. Let's start the mission. We... I don't know. I completely forgot what the mission was like, but I think we just... Meet with the guys the and then we see. The derelict warship are straight Let's ahead, see. Commander. The Greater Corpus and the Screaming Eagles have taken refuge in its interior. Uh -huh. If we want to have any chance of getting out of this mess alive, we're going to need their help. Let's hope they aren't in as dire straits as we are. All right. So that's a derelict warship. We also got a thunderbolt. We also got a dragon as well as a shadowhawk and our good old friend, the king crab. We got a king crab on our side. Everything is gonna be awesome. I never thought I would ever see one of the ancient warships. Beautiful. These things used to be at the top of the food chain when it came to the supreme military power of the Star League. Massive spacecraft that acted as jump ships, armed to the teeth with naval weapons and assault drop ships. And were often used to rend death across entire systems with nuclear fire and chemical strikes. Yep. Untold billions died at the hands of these monsters. It's not surprising that they were the first things to be targeted and destroyed in the early succession wars. Wow. Wow, I love the big carcass of this thing. Oh, look at it. This is so beautiful. I like these handcrafted missions. I like these handcrafted maps. They make a lot of sense and this is cool. All right. Optional, ensure Westix company doesn't lose a single mech. Uh, well, okay, we'll try. Hey, Vestric, we're here. Hello. Nearly there, Commander. Approach the hidden object to pick it up. This is ammo. This is just ammo for us. Nothing Vestrix. else. They're broadcasting Federated Suns IFF. You out there, identify yourselves. We are an independent detachment of the Second Crucis Lancers on special assignment. We're here to help. Rihanna Campbell? Is that you? I thought you were with that Merc outfit from the Galahad War Games. What are you doing broadcasting Davian military IFFs? Oh, we know this guy! For another time. For now, we're hoping to help each other out of this mess. That's highly optimistic of you. We dug into this position to defend ourselves from an incoming advance from the 3rd McCarran's Armored Cavalry. They've been probing our defenses for the past week after we repelled an all-out assault from them at Graves Hollow. Dropship. If you want to help, join us. Yeah. Let's push these bastards back. All right, we got Keep flyers. We got dropships. We got to tomorrow. Colonel Westrick, enemy scouts has crossed the outer perimeter. They're here. Well, okay then. Let's get to work. There it is. Rihanna, Commander, we'll appreciate the assist here. Keep our mercs in fighting shape. We won't be any good to you, Dave. Oh, here they come. All right. New target, Locust. That is no Locust. That's a Cicada down. Perfect. Oh, boy. So, the Shadowhawk should survive, ideally. Everybody should survive, ideally. Yeah. All right, so we got some ammo crates here. That's good. Good kills. Things are going to heat up quickly here. Very good kills. Understood. All right, Mama King Crab, let's go. We should be able to pull through if we can keep our forces in the fight. We'll and down Colonel. he goes. There we go. So, we got some helicopters. That's also good. That's the first wave. All right. <laughs> so, status report of the Hawk. It's not good. He actually took a lot of damage there. Oh, and they're bringing even more, but behind us now. Vindicator. Right, let's go. Ooh, this is kind of a nice twist of a defense mission. I love that. Uh, guys, you better go down there. Group rendezvous acknowledged. 
Let's see if they are doing it. I don't know. I mean, we are kind of all running the same speed of 64 kph in our lands. That's the good news. We can move as one. Nobody is getting out of uh, out of position quickly. Gotcha. I think. Yeah, and I think I'm going to go ahead and be very aggressive with my ammo. Eh, careful with the dragon here. Uh, being very aggressive, so I can pick up this uh, chem laser ammo bin later. Vindicator is next. I really want to see if I can keep all of these guys alive. That would be amazing. Here comes a fire starter. Do I want to pick it up already? How much ammo do we get? That's 10 bins of, of ammunition? That's fine. New target, javelin. Hey, Javelin. I'm here to kill you. Ooh, headshots. That's nice. Almost got him, though. Target yeah, target nice. Fired. But this is not a good spot to fight in. Let's get out of here. We actually have to go up the ramps in order to be effectful. Effectful? Yeah, that's it, right? That's what you say. Effective. Phoenix are coming in as well. We are destroying a lot of mechs already. That's pretty good. Take the arm of a phoenix and he's going. Man, I love this chemical laser build. It's beautiful. It's just great. So this guy's going critical. We're staying out of the blast radios and now we are going in once more. We destroyed basically half of their force. Killed that walker. But I have a strong feeling that the guys are getting bigger and bigger. That target is ours. So it's gonna be Orion. It's for me. Uh, you didn't have to. Oh, that's the Orion down. Quick draw is next. It's just the side tours mostly. But I think I'm gonna use my cover position to my advantage. Next up, Hunchback. Let's go for headshots or side torso shots mostly. That's an AC-20. Alright, we'll take it down. We just take the 20 off. And we are good. Firestarter needs to lose the arm quickly. No problem anymore. And then we have a Griffin, which is not really a threat. I am getting hot, though. Uh, actually... Griffin is showing the back. We're gonna capitalize on that. Come on, one more shot. Worth it. Totally worth the overheat. Oh no! No, no, no! Ugh. Maybe not? I don't know. Ooh, I need to cool down here. Again, I wanna keep everybody safe. I wanna keep everybody alive. Also, I want more ammo. There was a crate down here somewhere. I'll take it. 79 shots. We need to stock up on ammo. And we got it. 79 goes up to 89. Perfect. New Wait, what? Oh, crap. Oh, they're bringing Assault Max now. Let's get into the fight again. Status report of our King Crab, by the way, is amazingly good. Everybody seems to be fine so far. How do we go up against those guys, though? Those guys that are coming right now. Uh... I am not sure if I want to send in my people first. Marauder has taken no damage so far, really. So, I want you to stay with me. Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. We're gonna hold this here. I want them to come to us. Stay with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go in. Oh, Dragon is going. Okay, so we have to follow him. Ah, stop it. Don't go in alone. It's okay if you take a little bit of damage, but don't overcommit. Here we go. It, that 20 has to go quickly. So we're gonna take the arm. No 20 anymore. He is basically disarmed at this point. If you take the side toss, he's gonna go. Battlemaster. Headshot? Nah, way too low. Oof. Guys, I need you to go and engage the Battlemaster here. And we got some damage on this guy. So critical on the head, but it's not enough yet. The last of the rear guard are moving in to engage. Woo! So good! Yeah, I need to disengage from this, but I cannot move right now. Great. I was completely blocked by my friends. 
It's kind of working though. I love it. Not enough. I'm going for it. This is working. Like a charm, actually. And I can take a little bit more damage. Still. It's just a, this is just a flyer. Um, so we got like, what? Five enemies left? One of them being that helicopter. So I assume that there is gonna be one more dropship containing four mechs after we destroy the helicopter. Oh no, never mind. And that is an archer and I'm gonna break line aside. Ooh. No can do, boss. What? I want you to attack. Come on. Boss wants us on that target. Yeah, kill him, guys. We got 53 shots left. Oh wait, one. these are just helicopters. Oh, <gasps> great. Uh, come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. No, they're not quite just helicopters. Um, but I think we can manage this. Try to go for Windy. God, that's so much. Ah, okay, so I just realized the kill of the helicopter did not change the amount of enemies on the board. Mm, okay. That's an Igor, huh? Yeah, that was an Igor, perfectly. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Get that guy. Get the Marauder. Yeah, the helicopters didn't count towards the amount of enemies on the board. Ammo low. We gotta really get this done here. Got him. Another Vindicator. God, I love the build, by the way. It's beautiful. Pew! The Ragdoll! I love it. Guys, I think we got it. Last enemy is an Archer. We still have everything. We are still pretty critical. But this is where the enemies are going down. All remaining Matarin's forces appear to be withdrawing. For now, our forces are in the clear. Yeah. You have our thanks, Commander. But without us being able to transmit off system, I'm very skeptical about our overall chances at survival. A very strong ECM field is preventing us from contacting anyone at the system's jump point. We have a long shot plan to try to get a message off world. With your help, we might just be able to do it. Come by our command center and I'll share the details with you. That was a great mission. I love every single part of it. And we had 24 shots left, so how many crates did we pick up? Two? I think it's two, so that's 20 extra shots. Technically, we could have survived it without the extra ammunition, but it was kind of on the edge. Man, I got I love this Black Knight. It is so good. It is the best. This is such a good mech. And this is why, why I actually picked it up over a lot of other mechs that I could have taken. I love this thing. It's an asset. It's really good. Now, we got a bit of money as well as salvage. We cannot take the Master of Battles. We cannot take the Orion. We can, however, take a Marauder 3R. What do I want here? I mean, money-wise, the Griffin would be a way better pick. Completely. I think I could get away with something like... Nah, the Locust is not a good pick here. Well, let's see. We've got a Guardian ECM coming from probably one of the Ravens. I'm checking for double heat sinks. But there are none. Hmm. So we got 11 picks. You know what? We might as well just pick the spider and be done with it. It is fine. Take a bit of money in form of mechs. All right. So, Commander, it is great to see you again. I only wish we were meeting under better circumstances. You have my thanks for keeping us in good enough shape to see tomorrow. While I can't spare too much equipment, I do have a mech warrior that's been disposed of their mechs in the recent fight. Um, disposed of their mech in the recent fighting. Uh, if you have a mech for them, they'll serve you well. I'll send them over to your dropship. Let's catch up over a drink in my tent. I'm curious to know why the hell you're even on this rock in the first place. Captain Mila Serena. She's good. She's good with energy. Yeah, I'll take her. Very good. Now, let's go ahead and uh, repair our battle mechs, I guess. That's a lot of armor repair. 34 days. But it's okay. So, oh god, Wall of Text is coming in again. Holy crap. By the way, he got a crotch shot, but he survived because of his armor plating. 
Also, I like that he has the uh, submachine gun attached to his chest. <laughs> I said it on stream already, and I repeat it again. It is just, you know, a nice extra armor that you can have attached to your chest that has a lot of explosive bullets in it. And if it goes off, the magazine that is, then holy shit, you, you better have a quick death. But anyway, here we are. That sure is some story you got there, Commander. While I'm glad to hear that Captain Damu was able to rally a number of survivors from the Fusilier's ranks, you won't find much sympathy for their plight among my men after what half Hearthstone pulled. You see, things went sideways for us the second we arrived in system. After they heard Maximilian Liao kill their beloved Duke General Hearthstone ordered the 5th Sirtis Fusiliers to charge ahead of our invasion flotilla on a high G burn that jumped the gun on the agreed upon invasion schedule. Interesting. Uh, they beat us to the planet's surface by two days, hoping to satisfy their lust for revenge. All they did was to walk face first into a trap that doomed them all. I can still, I can still hear the screams they broadcast to us um, in vain hope that we would save them while we were still over a day away from reaching the planet. Okay, crazy. The Screaming Eagles uh, and I decided that, despite the incompetence of Hearthstone and the Fusiliers, we could not deviate from our contracted invasion plan. If we packed it up and left for home, we might have lived, but we would never be able to find MRB-backed work again. We came to the joint decision that we would drop in system and fight out McCarran's armored cavalry in a protracted guerrilla war in an attempt to get the message off system requesting reinforcements to the armed forces of the Federated Sons. Little did we know that the Capellans had some kind of jamming field that disrupts long-range communications planet-wide. Those bastards keep their jammers off so we could listen to the Fusiliers plead for their lives on our approach in, only to flip the switch, uh, flip the switch and jam our comms the second we hit atmosphere. We've been trying to figure out a way to get a message to the jump point ever since. Commander, we've spent months scouting out the facilities that the Capellans use to disrupt long-range communications on planet. But with our numbers, we've always determined that uh, assaulting one was too high risk. With you here, we may be able to pull it off though. We know the Capellans are gunning for us, so if we pull the Big Mac's attention away from a number of their regional jamming arrays, we should be able to thin their defenses enough uh, to where you can perform a targeted strike to bring those jammers down. It'll just be like Galahad. We'll draw them away, and you see that the mission gets done. Uh, I'll be straight to you, Commander. The mission is critical to us being able to get a message out of the system. I don't know how much longer any of us can last down here, but if you give us a month or so, we can plan for an assault on these jamming facilities. So take your time to prepare your forces and be ready for anything. We may have need to deploy in consecutive missions depending on how McCarran's reacts to the jammers being destroyed. So make sure you complete as many repairs and refits as possible before we execute the mission. Godspeed, my friend. We'll see you on the other side. Okay. So let's go ahead and get some money out of this, huh? We have 50 days to repair everything. That's great. And I really hope that my other mechs are coming online as well that I scheduled earlier, uh, like my my Stalker, for example, and the Orion M variant. That's a thing that we need. Maybe we can already bring it. Do we need to bring it? It's kind of open terrain, I believe. I can bring the Stalker and the Orion. <laughs> we need to change something here, that's for sure. Uh, also Griffin. Also Griffin. I don't care about the Griffin. Now, we gotta quickly paint our mechs. So, select all, apply all. There we go. And then I think... I want the Orion on the battlefield. I'm not sure if I want to run it myself, though. Because I have the feeling I have a higher impact with the Black Knight more than anything else. But I want to see how it performs. This Rifleman also gonna... Gonna get swapped out for the Stalker. And I have the feeling that we need to actually give the people the right max. So, you're gonna go on the Stalker here, buddy. Because you're really good with missiles. You have a Ballistic and Energy build. That's fine. You are kind of an all-rounder. So what about the new pilot? What about... Miller? Miller is 38 out of 47. Seems good. Seems actually very good. She's really good with everything secondary, not only the weapon systems. Uh, might be the better option, honestly. So here, 31 out of 39. All right, now get Miller in here. This seems good. This seems appropriate. Let's do this. Let's go. 
So yeah, I'm gonna switch out for more long range, more LRMs here, because again, this seems to be like open terrain and maybe we can uh, soften the enemies up before they arrive. I hope so. We'll see. The Crater Cobras have provided us with the location of a series oh God. of powerful ECM oh God. that have been disrupting long-range comms across the entire Sorna system. That's a lot. If we destroy enough arrays within the region, we should be able to pierce the localized disruption field and get a message out to the system's All right. point. We need to destroy these ECM arrays in order to have any hope of getting a message off-world. If we don't succeed, well... We'll almost likely die here, Commander. Yeah, we gotta get those reinforcements. Oh, no pressure at all for the likes of us, eh? I know it's hard to hear, but it's the <sighs> simple truth. While we've had our successes, McCarran's armored cavalry still has four full regiments of troops on Sarna. It's a simple numbers game. The reality is, we don't have enough forces to come out ahead. Even with the Crater Cobras and Screaming Eagles, we need reinforcements. Perfect. And with the system's HPG down, the only way that we can ever hope of getting them is if we get a message back to Davion Command through a ferried message by jump ship. Bringing down these ECM arrays is our only chance of doing that. I'm not exaggerating when I say that this time, all our lives are depending on this. So good luck, Commander. Yeah. Oh, we got into a jamming range now. Our sensors are getting all scrambled. That's cool. I mean, it makes sense. These are jamming arrays that we have to take down. I think I also have to be careful with my ammunition here. So let's see. Light mech approaching. Let's go, guys. Anything else? Apart from the spider? Is there just a bait that tries to lure us away? And again, I'm gonna be a little bit conservative here. We don't need to go all in on a spider. We have the long range support that's help that helps us out big time. This, however, is bigger. That's fine. That is very, very fine. On the commander's target. Yeah, I mean, you gotta get this guy. Perfect. There's a big tank. We're on your target, Commander. Um, sure. So, is that everything here? Man, we should really take this thing down, right? More helicopters coming. What was that? that? was a transmission on the AFFC's command line. The first one since we've arrived at Sarna. I can't make out anything in it, but destroying the other ECM towers might allow us to hear the broadcast. All right. Keep it up, Commander. Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. Uh, I think I'm going to just go over there, push into the city, and then we're going to push out again into the utmost left side, all right? Let's do it. I gotta really make sure that we are not dying here. I probably take a lot of damage over the course of this because of the open terrain. So I'm gonna try to break line of sight every now and then so these guys cannot hurt me, ideally. Got him. Easy. Is that enough? Yep. There's another mech coming. Copy. We're on it, sir. Oh, Commando. Yeah, that guy has to go quickly. They have so much firepower for a light mech. Ah, no, the high ground. It's not always good, guys, to have the high ground. Let's get out of here. I'm taking too much damage already. I don't like this. Where's the thing? Where's the beacon? We'll take care of the turrets first. Great. All right, got it. This tank is not real, right? No, it's just parked there. Good. Damn it, Commander! The ECM disruption is weakening, but McCarran is encircling our forces while you're attacking the ECM installations. We don't have the numbers to fight through them. We need those towers destroyed so we can find a gap in their lines. I'll we try my best, too buddy. Long and too hard for this to be our end. Ooh, that's a dragon. I really hope you know what you're doing, guys. Come on, get this guy. Okay. I'm gonna get out of here, out of the blast radius. Ooh, that's a good hit. And the follow-up is coming through as well. 
Nice. So easy to destroy those guys when you have combined firepower going on. Who is that? The message is getting clearer, but we still can't make out any discernible information. We need to destroy those remaining ECM towers. Are those more fusiliers? The only way we can break through McCarran's forces is if we abandon our wounded. That is not something I'm willing to do. We're preparing to make our last stand. Uh -huh. Finish the mission, Commander. Then get as far away from us as possible. Regroup with Captain Damu. Get a message back to Davian Command. What? No! Survive. Dude! Colonel this... Westrake, I'm sorry we couldn't do more. What? It's okay. It's getting really tragic it's here. Job that all of us mercenaries must accept at some point. Today, it's just my time. Wow! The drama. That's insane. I love it. Come on, guys, get the Orion down, and I'm gonna break line of sight again. You can't finish him off. And if he steps around the building, I'm ready to give him another Alpha Strike. We got him. Score. Um. Let me get down here. I want to eliminate the line of sight to the blackjack. Oh, that was a mistake. I got to deal with the blackjack now. Can't deal with the helicopters, which are higher priority. Oh, we could do both. Perfect. Yeah, not quite there. Yeah, you got to get the choppers, guys. <laughs> get to the chopper. Let's go. And that's the thing we got to destroy. Don't want to use my large lasers right now. There we go. So, we absorbed a lot of damage already. So, let's see where this is going. Ah! Take that, building! So, sometimes there are actually people falling out of these buildings. I never... Uh-oh, this is gonna hurt. Don't want to run through this. All right. I never know when it happens, but sometimes it happens. All right. Let's get to the last few po uh, points here and get the work Cannot done. Target, nope. Better target here. Copy. All right. It, it's a fract. And yet again, we're gonna give him an alpha strike. Break line of sight. He's getting attracted to us. Our friends are ah taking over the aggro. Hopefully. And we can survive this. Maybe we get into a full-on brawl with this guy. Ah, oh, that's not a good shot. Oh, hello, Blackjack. Did I not hit you already? Mm-hmm. All right. My armor is getting redder and redder. Ow. So, let's see. I get the feeling that they are sending in more helicopters. And that. And... Maybe? Not quite. Ah, you got the missiles there. Beautiful. So after each destruction of one of these things, we get a lance of helicopters flying in. Interesting. It seems like this is kind of like a scripted thing. Just to set you under more pressure. So you cannot easily um, just run through it and destroy all of these generators and then just run away. You have to fight through this. Come on. Get wrecked, please. There we go. One more. Right? Yeah, one more. And we still have 68 shots left. I should be okay with my ammunition in this mission. Unless there's something after this. I'm not sure about it. But even then, I think we should be okay. So where's the turret? I think I saw a turret there a second ago. I mean, there's one. So, the thing is, I don't want to push out of the city alone. I'm going to wait for my people to come to me before we do anything. I want to actually give them some orders and attract some fire. And I'm just going to finish off what they started. So, that one specific alpha strike with my large lasers coming down on them should be enough to kill. After they have been softened up. 
Uh, also, left arm is my medium laser arm. So it's okay if we lose that arm. My right arm is the one that I should be concerned because I have my large uh, chem laser there and I need that thing. Losing it would be really bad for the build overall. So, what's going on there? Oh, that's a mech. What? No, 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 no. I'm out of here. That is a K2. That is a K2 with an open cockpit, that is. I'm gonna go for it now. Is as good as it gets right now. Fine. Come on, Jenner. Be gone. There we go. Got that guy. Tank down. The other tank also down. We got this. Oh, by the way, helicopters? Somewhere? No? This is Arden Sortek of the Davion Heavy Guards calling all surviving forces of the Federated Suns. We have reached Sarna's atmosphere and are available to reinforce on your position. Is anyone out there? Please respond. Again, this is Arden Sortek. Colonel Sortek! This is Colonel Richard Westrick with the Crater Cobras. My god, is it good to hear your voice. The Crater Cobras and the Screaming Eagles are pinned down 50 clicks east of the city of Catatonia along the coast. We estimate that the Big Mac will have us completely surrounded in three hours. Transmitting exact coordinates now. Coordinates received. <sighs> We're preparing an orbital mech drop to reinforce your position. Hold fast, Colonel. Help is here. This is Arden, Captain Arden with the survivors of the 5th Sirtis Fusiliers. We don't have much left, but we are moving to assist. ETA, two hours. Looks like our salvation is here, Commander. I've marked a new exfil site on your map. Let's get out of here and join the others. Great! So, we actually have some people in orbit that are helping us now. That's beautiful. Arden Sortek, who is that guy? I didn't read the novels, I'm sorry. Just I'm not that, one. that much into lore, but hey, you probably know who that guy is. So um, it's good to have somebody on our side. And I hope that guy is not betraying us in some kind. Because, you know, politics is everywhere in Battletech. Everywhere. Also, why such a long evac? This is just because... Ah, I know why. This is... A long evac because they wanted to get all the information drop here off. So you shouldn't be able to quickly run back to the evac zone and then lose all of the information or miss all of the information. Because it was a little bit of a lengthy conversation. But I hate that that's the game design for it. Uh, Alright, we gotta go back. Anyway, cool mission. Loved it. Really. Um, set us under a bit of pressure. And it was a lot of individual smaller fights. Um, I would love to have, like, a big, big brawl going on again. You know, in um, Heroes of the Inner Sphere, there was the mission where you got the Corsair. That was amazing. That was such a cool mission. You got the mission where you got the King Crab. That is also such a great mission. There was artillery everywhere. There were so many people fighting each other. Lots of NPCs uh, at your side that are soaking up some damage so you can deal with the strategic targets. That was so cool. And it was all so messy. And that's the thing that I'm kind of missing in this uh, scenario here. I love the narration. The narration is way better than what we had before. Um, but still, give me a big battle, please. Come on, you can do it. Anyway, here we are, here we go. Let's see what we got. So overall, we had some mediocre mechs. The biggest mech that I saw was a maybe the Catapult, maybe the Orion. In terms of what I want to pick, though. But maybe it's just again another money pick and we're gonna buy something from the store that is available. That's an okay mech to have. Got some countermeasures, got some probes, got some ammunition. Lots of single heat things. I guess I'm gonna take something else here, like, like two jump jets. Yeah. Alrighty. So, I would say 
We're going to figure out who the guy was that is helping us now and how the story unfolds in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you want to support me, there's a link down below in the description that leads you to my Patreon page, patreon.com slash baraduel. If you have a spare buck or two, you can dump it there to help me out a bit. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.